my channel. Today I'm going to give you some holiday wedding vibes. I just got back from my best friend's wedding and so many of you guys asked me to recreate that look and give you some inspiration for your kind of fall and winter weddings. So before we get started, hit that subscribe button, give me a little thumbs up, and let's do it. So we're going to start with how I prep my skin as well as clients before any kind of special event. First of all, I already have all of my serums on. Now, we have done an AM routine already, so if you want to reference that, please feel free to do so. It's basically just a few serums and eye cream. Now, before I put on my moisturizer, I always, I'm grabbing it, put on a sheet mask, a moisturizing, hydrating sheet mask. This one is by Lemieux. This is the Moisture Bomb. Um, I usually do the Tatcha uh, firming, so you can also use a firming mask as well. Uh, but this is the one that I have sitting here. Now also what I do is I put on eye patches. These are the ones, if you followed me, that I used. This is also by Lemieux. They carry some of the most amazing skincare that I have been obsessed with since I carried them in my skin studio. Um, and so I'll put on eye patches. But I'm not going to today because... This is my last one and I am coveting it. <laughs> so basically what we do is we're just gonna put on our eye patches first and then we take our moisture mask and we're gonna pop that on. Let's get real good look in here. Oh my God, I had such a great time. It was such an amazing night and they got married in Palm Springs. It was gorgeous at the Frank Sinatra home. It was just so beautiful, intimate, lovely. And then you just pop this on and it's good to use a hydrating mask because you want your skin to be, no matter if you're oily, combo, normal, dry, you want to be hydrated before you put your makeup on. Now, I will tell you, it takes me about two hours to get ready before I do any makeup for this kind of an event or I do a client's makeup because... Uh, I really prep the skin. So literally this will stay on for about 20 minutes. And I also use my jade roller. I got this new one from this company called Argon Republic. It's so cute. I believe she's actually a subscriber. And I'll link her information below. But she sent me her rose quartz one, which is fantastic. Um, I used, I brought this one and her jade roller with me. And basically I just roll while I'm watching some TV. And I will be doing a whole uh, jade rolling lymphatic drainage video coming up very soon. But I, um, I basically watch TV and I roll away. This is going to lift, depuff, all of that good stuff. And so you want to do it whenever you're not dressed because it can get real messy. Um, and you go right over the lips. And then you can go underneath the eyes as well. The, these uh, rollers are actually um, sourced responsibly, and they are real. You have to be really careful with um, rollers nowadays because a lot of companies make them and they're not real. Um, so this is real, genuine rose quartz. And again, as I said, I will make sure to do a whole video on rolling the face and all of that good stuff. Really get in between these lines of my forehead. So this is what I'm going to do for the next about 10 minutes. Let it sit on for another 10 minutes after that, and I will be right back. All right, so the mask is off, and while that's kind of sinking in, because that's really important when you use the mask, so right after you take it off, you can't do anything. You have to let it sink in. So I'm just using my Bite Lip Mask right now. You can also use it while you are doing the mask if you want. Uh, usually I use my Tatcha Kisu lip mask, but I'm out of it. I use that way too much. All right, so that needs to sit in, and the skin needs to dry down, basically. Um, and then what I also do is I will curl my lashes while I'm sitting here. That is done. Now, what I usually do is I will use a lightweight moisturizer, like a very lightweight moisturizer. So I'm going to use the Drunk Elephant Bee Hydra. This is a great moisturizer. I've talked about it a couple of times for makeup prep. And there's a lot more that I absolutely love too, but I'm just gonna try to recreate exactly what I did for you guys. I'm gonna take my Tatcha Pearl and I am going to just kind of go underneath the eyes 
to brighten this up. This is also going to kind of, it's also an eye cream, so you can use that. But I've already used my uh, eye cream. And I just want to brighten this up underneath my foundation and concealer. And I also use this on my lid kind of as a eye base. Now, since we did use a kind of cream-based product on the eyelid, we will need to set it, but after we go in with our cream eyeshadow. You guys, this is such an easy look, I can't even tell you. I'll be using the um, Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in Betty. And we're just going to pop that on. We're going to start here. This is my, one of my favorite go-to looks for any dress that you're wearing. And if you have problems with creasing, please make sure that you use an eye primer. I do not. My eyelids do not crease. Remember to tap this out with your finger before it has a chance to dry. Up on top of that brow bone. Now, while that has a chance to sit, I am just going in with this palette. I love this palette. This is the Becca Mattes palette, the Ombre Rouge Eye Palette. And I'm going to go in with the lightest color in this palette. And I'm going to just sweep it up top here to make sure that sets a little bit. Yep. And then I am going to take this kind of color right here. It's this burnt orangey. And then the one next to it, I'm going to kind of go back and forth. And I'm going to go over where I blended the cream eyeshadow out to. And it I actually leave hardly any at the brow bone for my eye shape, any highlight. I'm just going to pop this out. And remember, you have concealer and everything to do. So don't be so concerned about what this looks like on the outside here because we will start to go in and blend that out after. We just want to get a good base down. Now, I am going to use my primers. If you guys have seen my primer video, um, Charlotte Tilbury's Wonder Glow, or I'm sorry, yeah, Wonder Glow. Um, when I do, you know, my clients or I am going to a really special event, I really bring out the big guns for me that works for me. So mine are all, you know, kind of pricier products. So use your favorite that has this, you know, the same effect. Going in with my Milk Blur Stick on my finger and just pat this out. Now I am going to go finish this eye really quickly, everything we just did, and I'll be right back. So everything is on this eye. What I did was I took my Urban Decay eyeliner in Black Market and I went up here and I did my tight line. Made sure that was really black. I also went down here. And you kind of want to do it messy because you want to take your finger and kind of blend this out because we're building a lot of depth down here on that bottom lash line because this is where all the drama is. Of this look and I just take my finger just gently and then this out here is super fun and interesting and different I just put a little bit of product out there on the outside I take the brush that I used for my cream and I just kind of buff that out and what it does is it pulls attention to the outside corner of the eye without needing to have like a flick and it's literally just the outer section and you just kind of buff that out to nothing Take my Charlotte Tilbury mascara. I've been just wearing this nonstop. Because I do a couple, and if you want to wear false lashes, obviously, go ahead and apply them now. Let's talk foundation. I know you guys are going to be like, why are you so excessive? I am using my La Mer foundation. I'm just telling you what I did. And my Benefit Happy foundation. And I combined the two. The La Mer foundation that I got, which is in cream, it's a little bit light for me, but I like the consistency of it. But then the Benefit foundation is not enough coverage, and so I just kind of mix them together. All right, and then all I do is just spread this all over the face. So foundation is all on. It's very, very easy to apply when you do it that way. 
Um, and then what I'll do is I will go in with my concealer. I am using the Jouer. I actually used the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I wanted to use this again so you guys could see. And that's all. Just tap that in. actually put my jewelry on while I'm finishing up my makeup. Um, aren't these beautiful? These are from a company called Anna Lucia. Really, these are not costume jewelry. These are beautiful, really gorgeous pieces. They actually sent them to me and I just loved them. Look at that. And then their cute little bracelet. I'll link it below if you guys want to see, but they're such amazing quality jewelry. So we're going to finish up the eyes. If you have covered up the darkness that we have done with the eyeliner, you can go ahead and, and smudge some more in there. I'm going to be back into this Becca palette on my pencil brush. I'm going to be using this guy right here. And I'm going to really give this heavy smoke. And when you connect that black liner in with the brown this brown kind of color it really adds the most beautiful definition this palette i feel is so underrated nobody talks about this palette it is such an all-star winning palette especially for more mature eyes because yes it is a matte palette but they aren't so matte that it doesn't make the eye area kind of look dry so i'm now going to take my urban decay's all nighter this is one of the only times that i actually really you know, use a setting spray like this. I'm gonna cover my earring up. And that will help reduce the look of any kind of powder maybe that you have overdone. Um, and it also will help set the layers of your makeup because we will do it just one more time after everything is on. But I, I didn't tell you, I do my um, earrings because I like to see how everything is balanced with my earrings on. I know that sounds strange. We're going to go in with Charlotte Tilbury's Bronze and Glow Palette. Give the face some nice shape. It's just such a beautiful product. It's so subtle. And you can layer it to how, however much you want to layer it. And it still looks natural and beautiful. I'm going to go back into these two guys and I'm going to rotate back and forth into this palette. And we're going to give some cheek color. You also can apply your lipstick before you go in and apply blush. That helps balance out the face as well. Uh, I did use Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. Oh. Blot off your uh, lip mask before you start putting on this bad boy. And I, uh, I overdraw my lips most days, but especially on an event. I don't overdraw every single client, but a lot of clients I do. And then I'm going to take my Kim K by Charlotte. And then I actually took this really cute little gloss from L'Oreal. This is the Havana collection. And I will put the name below because it just says Lip Do. Just to give it a little bit of gloss. And that is the completed look. I had a absolute blast and I hope that this inspires you guys to glam it up on your holiday party or your holiday wedding. I definitely would say that if you're a bridesmaid or you are a wedding guest and you want something that looks very professional, very put together, this is a fantastic go-to look for you no matter your age. This would be fantastic for more mature women uh, like myself and older because it really highlights the eyes, keeps everything a little bit more pared down, and will photograph beautifully. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll see you on the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye, you guys.